Recorded, edited, and uploaded on 12 12 12. Don't you dare say I stole that from MKBHD. <laughs> First off, I want to go ahead and apologize. You're going to hear the banging outside. They're still doing construction. It's freaking annoying, but I'm just going to live with it. So here it is. This is the CDO NSL Plus case for the EVO 4 GLTE. It is a case that has a battery in it since, as you probably know, the EVO 4 GLTE has an internal battery and you can't charge that. And you can't put like another battery on it and extend it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this right here, right now. <laughs> it's got tape on it. Oh, that's easy to cut. Luckily, I have a little bit of nails. If I had no nails at all, this would be a little bit harder. Pull that out of there. Well, that's dusty. I am currently running Cyanogen Mod 10 stable. You can run anything you'd like to. You can have a completely stock phone. It doesn't matter. And then there's a battery. On here, it just says it comes with a spring clip holster, micro USB sync and charging cable, instruction manual, a case, and a 1750 milliamp hour battery. There we go. Go ahead and pull this off of there. Check that out. There's a battery right there inside it. That is sweet. So then you have this battery, which is actually a charger. And you hook this micro USB cable into here, and you plug this into a computer or one amp charging source, and it charges your battery on here. And it's got a little LED. So I imagine the LED is like red while charging and green when it's done or something similar to that. So this is actually going to charge your Evil Forge LTE's internal battery. And then when this is done, you can just put this one in there and have extra battery. And then take this one out and put it in here and charge it. There you go. So pressing this will tell you that it's got pressing this will tell you that it's got about two um well three now uh levels of battery i'm assuming there's four total okay cool so that's just comes apart like that just snaps in there like such <laughs> I accidentally started Most Wanted. Of course, it does add thickness to it, but you kind of have to somewhere realize that if you're wanting extra battery life, you're going to have to sacrifice the size of the phone. So pressing it says we have about two um, levels for our battery to um, whatever. Anyways. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. It's actually got a charging thing right here so you can charge it. So it'll actually charge the internal battery and the studio battery at the same time. You still have access to your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have your microphone, of course, the bottom microphone, speaker. It says it'll take approximately five hours to charge this thing. One light means you have up to 25%. Two lights means you have 25 to 50%. Three lights means you have 50 to 75%. And four lights mean you have 75 to 100%. Oh. You even have a button for your camera. To turn the unit on, just hold this down for three seconds. And it stays lit. And now as you might be able to see up there, hopefully you can see that the light is on and it is currently charging the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and borrow the USB port from my Transformer Prime. Some of you may know that I had my Transformer Prime on top of my car and I totally forgot I put it there and then I drove off and I was I was almost in tears when I looked at it and wasn't prepared to see a cracked screen which all it did was scuff up the back pretty bad. Once I open the lid, there we go. The light right there just turned red and now this is charging. So it does turn red when it's charging and it'll turn like a blue or a green whenever it's done. While you're currently killing your internal battery on your Evil Forge LTE, and the Sadio battery that's inside this case. 
So when the Sadio battery dies inside here and the internal one, you just take this fully charged one out, put it in there. Whenever my Transformer Prime turns off, it kills power to this port, so that's why that went off for a second. But take this one out, put it in there. Take the dead one out, put it in there. You always have continuous power and you don't have to worry about having a dead phone. And it even comes with a little holster if you get the combo. And it rotates in that many ways. It's very, very stiff, so it's not gonna just freely spin around on your hip. You're gonna have to purposely spin it. Like, that's a good thing. It's not gonna sit there and spin around while it's on your belt loop, unless you manually turn it. And like I said, you have your camera, you have your volume up down, you have your top power button. Everything is accessible, nothing is being blocked. And you're currently charging the internal battery inside your Evo 4 Gilda E while you have this one charging up for when this one dies. If you enjoyed this unboxing and quick review of the Stadio NSL Plus case battery for the Evo 4 Gilda E, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. I'm super excited about this. If this was my daily driver, I'd have this on here most of the time, especially if you're using Tether, because Tether will kill your battery very quickly. And with this battery charging, while you're killing the internal battery and the Sadio battery, <laughs> you've got an endless supply of battery. It's awesome. And the cool thing is, is like, say the battery inside here is almost dead. You can quit, you can just pull this out, take the case off, pull the, save you a battery out, put the fresh one in there, and your phone's still tethering. Your phone's still powered on if you had enough to, like, if you had like 5%, you had enough to swap the batteries over. So whenever you plug it back in, you do have to go back here and turn it on again. That's cool, so you won't accidentally drain your battery when you're not using it. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. If you add me on PSN or Xbox Live, please send me a message that says who you are on YouTube, Twitter, or just your name. That way I know who you are.